Good evening to all of you. You are all good guys. How do you know? Now, tell me who are the engineering students. Lift your hand. Engineering students. Management students. Science. Life science. Biotechnology. What is it? So I have to address mostly, mostly management students and engineering students, right? Yes. Okay. Now I like to greet uh, our chairman, some from institutions, happy institutions, and Sri R. Venkatesh, Sri V. Nagaraj, vice chairman, some from group institution. All the faculty members and teachers, principals, and students, my greetings to all of you. My friends, when I see you all, I am reminded of a lot of enthusiasm you have. So, will you repeat with me? Yes, sir. Or you are hungry? No, sir. I am. Born with protection. Born with protection. I am. I am. Born with goodness and trash. Born with goodness and trash. I am. I am. Born with. Born with. Ideas and dreams. Ideas and dreams. I am born with greatness. I am born with greatness. I am born with things. I am born with things. I am not. I am not. Meant for crawling. Meant for crawling. Because. Because. I have wings. I have wings. I fly. I fly. I fly. I fly. I will fly. I fly. How many of you want to fly? <laughs> so my message to you, young friends, is that education gives you uh, wings to fly. Achievement comes out of fire of a subconscious mind that you have to win. So each one of you, assembled here and elsewhere, will have wings, wings of fire. The wings of fire will indeed lead to knowledge, which will make you will make you great in the society, whatever you like to be, and you will be. So, friends, I'm delighted to address interact with the students of Sambram Group of Institution at Bangalore. I am happy to know that Sambram Group of Institution Bangalore has the mission of giving, mission of giving work-oriented education combined with ethical values and character building. My greetings to the chairman and all the faculty members and to you all friends. I would like to share a few thoughts on that topic and technology empowers the society. Technology that's next 15 minutes I'm going to talk to you. Friends, good teaching. Good teaching emanates from research. The teachers love for research and they experience research are vital for the growth of the institution. Any institution is judged by the level and the extent of the research work it accomplishes. This sets in a regenerated cycle of excellence. The experience of research leads to quality teaching. And quality teaching imparted to the young in turn to enriches the research. The campus dynamics needs such a type of research, teaching, research environment. Technology, as you know, is a non linear tool available to the humanity. It can affect fundamental changes in the ground rules of economic competitiveness. Science is linked to technology through application. Technology is linked to economy and the environment through manufacture of knowledge products. Economy and the environment are linked to technology which promotes prosperity to the society. We have to use innovation to generate high value added products for becoming a global player. 
The foundation for academic excellence is research. Foundation for academic excellence is the research. Now, what is excellence? Because each one of you, whether you are a management stream, or science stream, or engineer stream, you have to work for excellence. Friends, science need to culture of excellence. Excel is not by accident. It's a process where an individual continuously strives to better oneself. The performance standards are set by yourself. You work on your dreams with focus and are prepared to take calculated risk and you do not get deterred by the failures. As you move towards your dreams, you step up the targets and try to reach higher and higher. When you strive to work to realize your potential in the process, you will increase your performance. At all times, you are not in a competition with anyone else, but your own self. This is the culture of excellence. I am sure, yes, I am sure the SP groups of institutions is being built with technology focused based on innovation excellence which are crucial for research. Friends, I would like to share an experience how my professor during my engineering education made us to design a low-level attack aircraft. <coughs> By this project, students acquired an experience of system design, system integration and system management. Not only we learn system design, system integration, not a system management. That means long, long ago. So there, in the final year, we had a top professor, Professor Srinivasan. He is an aircraft designer from the California Institute of Technology. He became professor of Madras Institute of Technology. He came, he called once the final semester, final year, six month project you guys have to do. And those days, you are not a very tough subject, but only nine fellows were there, including me. <laughs> that nine fellows, some specialist in aerodynamics, some aircraft structures, some material, some structures, some guidance, some people in gun control, some people in instrumentation. So all these combination people put together, my professor put them together, you guys, he named me as the project leader. He said, by six month time, you have to design low level attack aircraft, Mark II. It was a big task for us. So we started working 54, 57. Uh, no computer. Okay. You have to use slide wood. Have you seen the slide wood? No slide wood. It's a museum now. <laughs> Slide room for kind of book and slide room. This we did too, not a big drawing book. We started calculation, design, everything. So, fifth month arrived, and uh, our professor landed in the laboratory when he was going to tennis court on Sunday. He repeated for one hour all our work. He said, This Kalam, you are the hero of the team. I am disappointed. Output. I'm not happy at all the output of the work. And uh, one more month, you guys, nine guys have worked together. And see that design is completed, otherwise, one fellow will get into trouble. That's the leader of the team myself. <laughs> that is, your scholarship will be terminated. <laughs> if I don't show the results, management engineering results, in a month's time, in the form of a design, development report, I lose my scholarship. Very right? That might be a very costly place. My class is out of I don't know if you are some Brahms school or what is. What's the cost? Very <laughs> So in those days. So you are smiling so it's not costly. <laughs> so I have uh, so we worked very hard. No, no picture, nothing, Saturday, Sunday. We don't go anywhere. 
God has worked very hard for workmen. Finally, we got the drawings, we got design calculations to our satisfaction. The top person landed there. Okay, again on a Sunday, he landed there. He reviewed for tours. He said, You guys have done a good job. All nine for us have done a good job. And the fantastic work you have done. And he took us to his house. He gave a Madras coffee, very hot coffee, all of us had. But that's not important. What's important is what the professor taught us on that six month period, even though we belong to multiple disciplines, we are made to design a low level attack aircraft. Okay, pretty design. And that one stood for all of us. And there we learn system design, system integration and system management. Message can give to faculty members of some brown institutions. And also all the students, when they go for your employment, they will ask you whether you are a chemical engineer, a mechanical engineer, or a management student, or a science student. Can you design a system? When you design a system, you need multiple technologies, multiple management practices. So it is essential. We have to break. You have to break the head curtain between faculties and multiple disciplines. You have to bring in so that when you go to this campus, you have become a system manager, system designer, system integrator, and system manager. So friends, now. I am going to reinforce what I said. Friends, the information technology, I am going to talk to you what is called convergence of technology. This decade, this decade, next decade, the 20 years, you are going to have in a big field what is called convergence of technology. Convergence of technology. Friends, the information technology and communication technology have already converged leading to information communication technology as, as, as ICT. Information technology combined with biotechnology has led to bio, bioinformatics. Similarly, photonics grown out from the laboratories to convert to the classical electronics, microelectronics. Now, now nanotechnology, has come, has come in a big way. Nanotechnology has come, come in. It is the field of future that will replace microelectronics and many fields with a tremendous application potential in the area of medicine, electronics, and material science. When watch what I'm saying. When nanotechnology, ICT, information communication will meet, and integrated silicon electronics, photonics are born. And it can be said that material convergence will happen. With material convergence and biotechnology linked, a new science called intelligent bioscience will be born, which will lead to a disease-free, happy, and more intelligent human habitat with a longevity and a high human capacities. Convergence of bio nano info technologies can be lead to the development of nano robots. There is all this technology. You have bioscience, you have engineering area. I hope you are studying the nano also. Nano, nano bio, nano bio, and information. All three will come back the future technology. The nano robots, combination of the three technologies. When nanorobots are injected to patient, my expert, expert, uh, expert friend say it will diagnose and deliver the treatment exclusively in the affected area and then the nanorobot can digest it as it's a DNA based, DNA based product. I saw the product sample in one of the laboratories in South Korea where best of minds with multiple technology work with target of finding out out of box solution. Now, I want to tell you friends, science is reciprocity. Science is? <laughs> science is? <laughs> what does it mean? Science is reciprocity. Reciprocity. 
Let me give you an example. Recently, I was at the Harvard University for lectures. There I visited laboratories of many eminent professors from the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Science. I recall how Professor Hokun Park showed me his invention of a nano needle, invention of a nano needle, which can pierce and deliver content to the individual targeted biocells. That's how nanoparticle science is shaped in the biosciences. Then I met Professor Vidod Madhavaran from Harvard University, who showed on the other hand biosciences are in turn shaping nanomaterial science as well. He's using DNA material to design self-assembling particles. When particular type of DNA is applied on a particle at the atomic level, Professor is able to generate a prefixed behavior and the automatic assembly from them. This could be an answer for self-assembly of devices and colonies in deep space without human intervention. I can see thus, thus within a single research building, thus within a single research building, I saw how two different sciences are shaping each other without any iron curtain between the technologies. This reciprocating contribution of sciences to one another is going to shape our future in and if our future and industry need to be ready and the academies have to be ready for this type of challenge. Now friends, now we are trend emerging. What is the new trend? The aspect being introduced that of ecology. Globally, the demand is shifting towards development of a sustainable system, which are technologically superior. This is a new dimension of 21st century knowledge society, where science, technology, and the environment have to go together. Thus, the new age model would be four dimensions. New age model would be what are they? Bio, Bio. Nano, Info, Eco based. Okay. But previously, we were discussing three Bio, Nano, Info. Now, Bio, Nano, Info, Eco based. I am sure that the education system, the SP group of institution, is concentrating to build a curriculum which will emphasize the convergence of technology and remove the interdisciplinary barriers. This for faculty members, for the management, and future students. Now friends, let me finally describe my visualization of the district profile of India by 2020. When you guys graduate, boys and girls, graduate from this institution, when you go out, what type of India you want to see? What type of India you would like to build? So I am going to give you a distinctive profile of India by 2020. Another seven years time. How India can be built. A nation where the rural and urban divide is a reduced in thin line. 600,000. Let us be here. 700 million people live there. 70 percent of people live there. But 300 million people live in the urban area. But uh, when do we carry the urban amenity is to the rural area? That's a big challenge for our family. A nation with an equitable distribution and the adequate access to energy and quality water. A nation where agriculture, industry and service sector work together in system. A nation where education value system is not denied to any meritorious candidate because of societal or economic discrimination. A nation which is the best destination for the most talented scholars, scientists and investors. A nation where the best of income is available to all. A nation where governance is responsive, transparent and corruption free. A nation where poverty has been totally eradicated. Illiteracy removed and crimes against women and children are absent and none in the society feels alienated. A nation that prosperous, healthy, secure, 
devoid of terrorism, peaceful and happy, and contributions to such time will go far. A nation that is one of the best places to live in and is proud of its leadership. Now, friends, nice thing I told you, 10, ten pillars of development. To achieve the distinct problem of India, hopefully one of you has got it. We have the mission of transforming India into economically developed nation. We have identified five areas where India has a core competence for integrated action. Agriculture and the agro-food process, value chain. Reliable quality electric power. Surface transport infrastructure for all parts of the country, including electricity. Education, health care, information, communication, technology, connection center of the villages, self-reliant critical technology. These five areas are closely integrated and we progress in a coordinated way we lead to food, economic and natural security. Now friends, one of the key requirements towards achieving this distinct profile of the nation will be creation of sustainable enterprise driven models, sustainable enterprise driven models at rural levels. One such system which I suggest to Pura, providing the urban amenities in the rural area. It is the creation of physical connectivity, electronic connectivity and knowledge connectivity leading to economic connectivities of the rural region. With this combined and planned intervention of infrastructure, digital technology, Information enterprise, we can select, we can select, we can select a cluster of about 20 50 villages which share competencies and empower those using local enterprises. I will suggest here the FP group of institution with the three campuses in the country may like to pursue the implementation of one such product in any of the complex. <coughs> Pura complex covering about 50 to 100 villages on the outskirts of Bangalore or Kola, wherever we are, which you utilize the potential youth of this college. The Pura will be called as SP Pura, which will empower local villages in the region, region. And this work on Pura will facilitate faculty, students in the internship program in the rural societal transformation or sustainable. Now friends, you have to work with me now. Okay, ready? Yes, Simply instead of sitting, hearing, you are going to work with me. Okay, ready? Yes, this is the economic development and creative leadership. Economic development and creative leadership. Now I will tell you. I am going to tell you the linkage between national economic development and creative leadership. Yeah, national economic development is powered by, is powered by both married children, 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 anyone can say, it is powered by, that is, a nation's economic development is powered by competitiveness, yes, okay, competitiveness. Competitiveness is powered by, competitiveness is powered by, knowledge, knowledge power, okay, knowledge power is powered by, education, education, technology. Right? Technology. Technology is powered by? Innovation. innovation. Technology is powered by? Innovation. Technology and innovation is powered by? Finally, we need money, resource investment. Technology and innovation are useless. And that's you invest, is it not? So, technology and innovation is powered by resource investment. Resource investment is powered by? Return. I should know. Return on investment. Management of course you should know. Return on investment is powered by revenue. Revenue is silent for us. Management for us. <laughs> revenue is powered by volume and repeat sales. And volume and repeat sales is powered by customer, <laughs> customer loyalty. Customer loyalty is powered by, powered by quality and value of products. Quality customer who will buy only quality is good, quality and value of products. Quality of value products powered by Economy. employee productivity and innovation. Employee will take care of your employees. Employee productivity is powered by employee loyalty. 
employee loyalty is powered by employee satisfaction. Employee satisfaction powered by working environment. The working environment powered by management innovation. Working environment, working environment powered by management innovation. Management innovation powered by creative innovation. Okay. Where did I start? I start the economic development of the nation. Ended by can you see the linkages? Can you see the linkages? Can you see that? Yes, so technology, the play technology and management science are all of the things. Okay. For success, for success in all the missions, it is essential to have creative leadership. Creative leadership means the election going to come, isn't it? When is the election? Uh, that means you have to elect creative leaders, right? Creative leaders who work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Who would you select? Who would you, who would you select? Leaders. Leaders who work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Okay? Because we all have got votes. Huh? How many of you vote? How many of you vote? So, for success in all the mission, it is essential to have creative leaders. Creative leaders means exercising their vision to change the traditional role from the commander to coach. He will not be a commander. Leader will not be a commander. He or she will be the coach. Manager to mentor. From director to delegator. He said he or she will not be a director, but a delegator. And from one who demands respect to one facilitate self and self-respect. For enhancing enterprise value, we need large number of creators. Asia needs every field creative. How many of you will become creative leaders? I have spoken to you nearly 45 minutes. How many of you will become creative leaders? Only few guys, only few guys. All oh, those girls want to become creative. Boys are hesitating. Yeah? So, friends, since I am in the midst of young future professionals, engineering, management, science, I like put forth a thought. No doubt. No doubt. Put forth a thought. No pen, no pencil. So, put it right there. Eh? What, you, what I would like to be remembered for? What? I will be what? Very, very I like to be each one of you register your things. What I like to be remembered for. You have to evolve yourself, shape your life. You should write it on a page on the brain. That page may be a very important page in the book of human history. And you will be remembered for creating that one page in the history of the nation. Whether that page is a page of evolution of a new technological system or a page of innovation, the way of working or a page of creating action-oriented vision for the people or the page of triumphing over diseases which have afflicted humanity for ages or the page of contributing towards inclusive growth of the nation in time of manner. You can write your views for one para and send it by mail, mpj at abdulclub.com. So if you have good ideas, sign it up for me. Okay, good ideas. And then I will send some books to you. So my best wish to all the students are a group of institutions and success in their endeavors. May God bless you all, friends. You are angry? No, sir. You are not angry. No, you can take a vote. Yes, sir. You can sit down and take the vote. Okay? Yes. Technology, Technology is a right time machine. Right time machine. I work, I work, 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 and work, and work, and succeed. And succeed. Small A, small A is a crime. Is a crime. Wherever I am, a thought, thought always come to my mind. That is, that is what process, what process, what product, what product I can innovate, I can innovate, invent, invent, or discover.
discover our Gita Gishi. I will always remember that let not my finger days be spent in vain. I realize I have to set the great technology goal that will lead me to think high, work and persevere and realize the goal. My greatest friends will be great scientific and technological minds and teachers and great books. I I am firmly believe that no problem can defeat me. I will become captain of the problem, defeat the problem and succeed. I will work and work for removing the problem faced by the planet Earth in the areas of water, energy, habitat, waste management and environment through the application of engineering and technology. I will work for making the city, town or or villages where I work as a carbon neutral city or town or a village. My national flag flies in my heart. I I bring glory to my nation. Okay, thank you. God bless you all.
engineering institution. Yeah, it's not like anybody can start a pura. There are 50, 20 puras are there now. Now, government of India has started two to three puras every, every district. We have 600 districts. We have got a big vision. And the last two years, that is public and private participation pura. So, you don't need to worry about uh, how to make it. But you can participate in pura. First, you start. In your complex, okay? Here, where back to you are, just go 30, 40 kilometers, number of villages are there. Cluster of 50, 60 villages. Give the physical, how to give the physical connectivity, electronic connectivity, knowledge connectivity, so that you can do the economic connectivity, okay? With the industrial participation. Okay. Finish MBA final year. What year? MBA final year. Junior, so here you sign the okay. My question is, sir, kindly describe your journey in life so far. That's a fantastic question, that's all I can say. <laughs> My journey, see, after all, you do make a rocket system and put a satellite in the orbit. It is not the end of life, okay? Then another, another challenge starts. Make a Agni reach 2000 meters, okay? Then it's not the end of life, okay? Then you go and start uh, India becoming a nuclear weapon state, okay? And then go to new program, India 2020 vision, approved by the government, right? By the parliament. So this is not the end of it, continuous process. So what I have done now, now I have become a teacher, I am a professor, and also I met so far 15 million students in your age group. <laughs> so I know their dreams, and also I know their pains, okay? So that's the greatest knowledge you have acquired. Uh, so I will work for that, prosperous, happy, and peacefully, okay? Yes, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hi, sir. My name is Anil Kumar, Aluminium of this college from Mechanical Development. So what, what, what are you studying? I'm, uh, I'm alumni of this college, from Mechanical Department. Okay. Uh, currently, I'm working for Cessna Aircraft Design, uh, Aircraft Engineer for US. And uh, my question is, as you told in your project, uh, you work for, like, was a team leader for that uh, fighter aircraft, that is, attacker aircraft. Attack. Yes. What was your role and task given for you? Because it's very difficult to design an attack aircraft. Well, I basically am a year of okay? okay? My portion is the leader of the team. Okay. I have to contribute here to the side and also bring all the eight fellows, eight discipline together. Okay. That's a tough job. Okay. Eight different discipline. And you have to make them to work on a single uh, low level attack aircraft. That means you should be a leader, management leader. So what is technology to contribute? And also management your project. And how did you test it? Well, he said, you see, in the yeah, in the Madras Institute of Technology, it's an education institution. The other job is to design. Design. Now next group will come. We're lagging in research and development with BTO's global, uh, WTO's Global Innovative Index giving 64th rank to us against first rank to Switzerland, which is smaller than the Bangalore district. Actually, it's not 54, we are 69. 64. 69, 69. Well, I think You see, our past, forget about the past, okay? Forget about the past. We should not land on the past. Future, what is the nation which is may become number one in competitiveness? or development index number two, I was the number one, okay? I went to Finland Prime Minister. I asked him, how you became number one? In competitiveness, among all the so developed nations, how do you become number one? I asked her, she was a lady. She said, Kala, three things. 
research, research, research. <laughs> So wish you all the best. God bless you. All of you repeat with me. All of you repeat with me. Ready? Ready? There, 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 is, there is righteousness, righteousness in, the heart. in the heart. There is, there is beauty, in the beauty in the character. I wish you all beauty in the character. Thank you.